Hey everybody, um, I was asked on the forum if I would make a video on uh, the method I use to create a projection line for the upcoming week. Um, so here's my current thinking, um, and here we go. So on November 6th, this was the last prediction and then recap that was completed. Um, I wrote uh, that we were going to be having a down week and that the bottom would likely be somewhere down in here on Thursday. Um, I put in a um, moon sun, the green line, uh, one-fifth harmonic, 50% smoothed orb, um, a spectrum study here, and also confirming uh, Q-spectrum to show a down week. Um, and this black line is the most similar price action that the program could find over the last 10,000 bars. And it decided that uh, on September 24th, 2019, actually these 15,000 bars this week, um, I'll explain that in a second, um, that it came up with that price action. So it looked like a U-shaped week, um, and that price would continue downward, and sometime early on Thursday we would um, find a, a reversal up into the close on Friday. So coming a week later, um, on the 13th, on Friday, uh, then I marked up the chart actually as price action occurred and um, ended up with 192 pips based on that post 11.841 November 6th. So that's, let's see how we did that using Timing solution is still the best program I have found. Hold on, that's next week to do this. So let me uh, start from scratch here and kill all this. So open new price. And data if, uh, ending November 6th. And let me... Uh, it takes, well, a minute. I didn't want to keep the video running during this downtime here. So we have 15,000 bars this week as an experiment. I hit calculate. And it's doing the uh, Swiss ephemeris, calculating um, okay. Um, so next I start out with a moon sun astronomy study in 5% and one fifth harmonic. And I only discovered this through trial and error. Let me make the line thicker. Um, and notice that on last week's price action that the line tracked very nicely. Um, predicting uh, this peak here and that, uh, that there was a move down and in fact the peak occurred um, at, before the New York session or as the New York session was getting underway and here we have a down move so uh, on top of that I'm going to add a same study one-fifth except with 50 percent orb to give me an overall better view of the week. So put 50% here and make that a different color and thicker. And OK to that. And notice that we have a nice down movement culminating uh, before the end of the market on in this case, it's showing Friday. Um, so let's see. Let me throw in a spectrum study. So I click the spectrum button. This is Fourier analysis of previous cycles, uh, finding previous cycles. And let me show you that. So each of these peaks represents a predominant cycle. And what I want to do is then just click all these peaks and then distill them together using the harmonic box. 
So to do that, I use selected, click that, then click this yellow H box here for harmonic box. Because I'm looking for broader, longer trends, I've got moving averages set up for the relative price oscillator to 100, 200, and 400 exponential non-lag moving average based on the close. And I'm examining only the last three cycles. Um, okay. Um, and the, the, um, the, the look back period is from 22 days to 145 days, basically. Um, what I want to do also is, well, just check here as I zoomed in to make sure that um, these peaks and valleys coincide with the price action that occurred in the past, past week. So, uh, I'm going to go with that. That's looking a little better. Although, hmm, why don't I just leave it alone for now and see how it looks? <laughs> that takes me a while to play with at times. So, let's just put that on the chart. Um, and it's showing a, um, a bottom at 2300 on Wednesday. Uh, so uh, just leaving this alone, that looks pretty good. Um, I'm tending to favor Spectrum, but it, this is one heads up uh, for price action. This is another here. So let me clear that out. And finally, pattern similarity. This is a TI Terra Incognita Advanced um, module here, so that doesn't come with the basic Primo. And over here for no filter, I'll put similar moon cycle, since the moon seems so prominent with this pair. And notice that another confirmation for spectrum is happening here, uh, where the, the price action from the most similar period um, from September 2019, September 24th, uh, is following the curve of spectrum here. So these are the things that all go into my um, forming a prediction for the following week. So uh, let's take a look again at the outcome. So uh, I saw it down until uh, price action from similarity and the spectrum started turning up here. Um, this calculation came out slightly different, but the net result was the same. Um, let's take a look again. Um, so notice th this similarity bottom came at 0550 on Thursday, and spectrum noticed a bottom about 2300 on Wednesday. And if we pull up the chart, so here's 2300 right here, and 0500 on Thursday is here. So either it's about identical, exactly identical. So then it was a matter of marking up the chart, go short after the market opens on Monday, go long either here or here to market end up there. Okay, and what we have for pips is 115 and 60. So slightly different than what I put over, uh, but close enough. Okay, um, so that's it. I'm going to keep going with this uh, current method for the time being, and 
I've been keeping track of this method also back to January 1st uh, using one-fifth harmonic of moon minus sun and keeping track of the pips just to see how it's working out. So this back testing is super important to do also to have confidence um, in the outlook. Okay, take care. Mm-hmm.